Good morning, YouTube. So today is Christmas Eve. I know I wasn't a part of Vlogmas, but I couldn't. I just couldn't, you guys. I had surgery. I know it's a lot to get into, but I'll get into it with like what procedure I had um, done and everything. So stay tuned for that. Right now I'm about to run to Walmart or Publix, whatever, because I need to get some cream of corn so I can make my infamous cornbread. My cornbread be hitting y'all, so. Hey you guys, so I'm doing my makeup because I'm trying to hurry up before my sister calls me and tells me it's time to go to my other sister's house. So I'm going to Port St. Lucie for a Christmas party at my sister's. <clears throat> so yeah, so I can like briefly talk to you guys while I'm beating my face. This mirror is like trash and I'm trying to like, you guys get the gist though. I already have on, I didn't do my eyebrows yet, but my eyebrows are so fleeky. Huh? I get them threaded, but um, I just have on foundation and concealer. I'm about to contour next. I think I need some more highlight on my... Okay, so the surgery, the procedure that I actually had done was, I know you guys are guess, um, thinking about like plastic surgery because that is so big now, but your girl is definitely going to get her breast reduction. But that's not what I got done. So I was having a lot of pain since last year in my stomach and I would go over to the emergency room and they would never know what was wrong with me. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm not crazy. I'm feeling these pains, so it's, it gotta be something. So the first thing I'm thinking like, if y'all can't detect nothing, oh my God, it must be something very serious. Like I'm thinking like the C word, you know? Um, So I was getting like kind of antsy. Well, at first I was like, okay, well, if they don't see nothing, maybe it was like a stomach cramp or, or something, Um, nothing too serious. Where is my contour? I just seen that Bobbi Brown foundation stick. I just seen it. Okay. So, <clears throat> and they were like, yeah, I didn't think it was nothing too serious. And then the last time I went, well, the last time before I found out was they were like, they did a vaginal ultrasound. First they did an ultrasound, they didn't find anything. So then they did an ultrasound and they found that I had fibroids. So if you're not familiar with what fibroids are, it is actually a non-cancerous tumor that is that grows on like your uterus and is most common in African Americans and um, Hispanic women. So I'm like, okay. They say the, the emergency room told me to follow up with my gynecologist. So <clears throat> I went to meet with my gynecologist and my gynecologist was like, okay, well, and mind you, he specializes in the surgery to remove them because the harm in like the only harm it will do, it'll keep growing and it makes your belly look like you're pregnant. So I was, my stomach started protruding like I was like three months pregnant and I hated that. If I have some pictures, I'll probably insert them somewhere. Um, and um, another thing is if you have, if you sometimes when you are pregnant, look at my brother walking. When you, when you do become pregnant, it will sometimes, I don't want to say eat the baby, but it was, it will, I guess, stop some, I don't know, the food or the blood get into the baby. So eventually you'll end up having a miscarriage. So upon speaking to my gynecologist, he was like, my OBGYN, he was like, well, you're not in that much pain. I was like, it's not that often. He was like, do you pain when you're in your, during your menstrual? I was like, no, not really. Or whatever. I was like, well, if it's not broken, don't fix it. So, um, mind you, I said I was in pain, right? That's why I went to the doctor. But the questions he was asking me, you know how when you get to the doctor, you just become illiterate? Like, I don't know. So I was like, yeah, it's not that painful. Like the way he was describing 
how most women feel when they do have these fibroids that bother them. I was like, oh, I don't have that. It's just like once in a blue moon, I get these sharp pains in my stomach. And he was like, oh, well, if it's not broken, don't fix it, you know, because you got to go through like, this is like major surgery. I'm like, okay, that was in April of this year, 2019. May comes, it gets worse. So now those same symptoms he was describing while I'm on my menstrual, like, do I cramp up so bad? Because I don't really get cramps. It happened. It started getting so bad where I couldn't even get out of bed. I would have to sleep with a sleep uh, heating pad and all that stuff. My periods were never like that. So I know most that's kind of regular for some girls, but that was not regular for me. So I'm like, what the heck? So I'm like, you know what? Let me get a second opinion. You know, so I went to another woman OBGYN and she was like, you know, um, I know you probably don't want kids now because where the fiber had actually grown. So when I first went to the hospital, it was like six centimeters or four. And by the time I went to this to get my second opinion, it was like six centimeters. So then um, I'm like, OK, this thing is growing. And she's like, you know, if, I know you don't have any kids now and you're, you're not trying to have kids right now. But say, for instance, you meet a guy and you want to potentially have kids, like if you get married or whatever. Um, you can't have kids right away. You're going to have to go through this surgery and then try to have kids six months later. So that's going to like delay your process. So you might as well get it over with now. And I was like, OK, thank you. I'm going to go do the surgery. But she was like, but the doctor you just came from. He specializes in that, the surgery you're going to do. He does the non in, um, like the laser one where I don't have to take out my whole uterus. You know, I, I'm still young. I don't have any kids. So I don't want to take out my whole uterus. Duh. My mom actually had it and she took out her whole uterus. So, you know, so, um, so I'm like, okay. So I go back to my, the male OBGYN set an appointment. So yeah, that's the surgery I got. I got a liposcopic myomectomy. That is what the procedure is called. But the bad thing about mine was that that I have three fib I had three fibroids, right? And the one that was four grew to like eight centimeters. And that means it cannot come out of those little incisions that are done laparoscopically. So I had to get a C-section cut. I don't know if it's a little smaller than a C-section cut, but I had to get cut. So if any of you have ever went through childbirth, like a C-section wise, you know how much pain I was in. Like, and for me not to have, a ch have gone through anything like that, it was very difficult. You know, it was like, like for real like i have a new respect for mothers and when i do have kids i'm gonna act like a big baby because listen you know and the recovery is like six weeks so you know i was i wasn't able to do much well i'm still not able to do much because i had it like i think friday made it, yeah friday that passed just made it a week and this coming friday we'll make it two weeks so it's a little, a little over a week, but mm, it's still fresh meat. So that's basically what's been going on with me. I hope your lives are a lot better than mine. You know, but I'm just thankful that, you know, the surgery, it was only an hour, hour and 30 minutes and um, it went okay. My follow-up appointment is coming up and he removed all the fibroids. Well, he better have, he said he would. So, you know, I'm just happy. That I'm just so happy that I'll have a relief now. You know? So, I feel like women go through so much. But I think I'm going to finish my, my makeup. And I'll be back. Because I don't want to prolong. Because, you know, my, my sister's waiting on me, you guys. So, I'll be back. I just got done with my makeup. Like, yeah, two hours later, right? So, this is like my Christmas look. It's Christmas Eve. But and I'm actually trying out the Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation because I'm about to like switch out of my Lancome and I think I like it, but we're gonna see. I think I like it so far. I like how it looks, I like the finish. 
I just don't know what lip to do. Let me take off this. I got my like, you know, those braided ponytails, those braided long ponytails. That's the look I've been doing a lot recently. Budget friendly. Um. So, you do y'all see that glow? I just beat my face, you guys. Um, I just hope it doesn't make me look dark, but we'll see. Like in the camera right now, it looks like it's blending very well, I think. What do you guys think? But I'll see you guys later when I'm on my way to the Christmas party. Or at the Christmas party, better yet, at the Christmas party. Like, look at my ponytail. My sister did my hair. Budget friendly. Mm -hmm. I would love to try this with a frontal, though. And, like, see how it looks. Because, you know, my hair is, like, wavy, but it, it matches with this weave. But I would love to try this look with a frontal. Oh, my God, my hair. So I'm at my sister's house, ready to party. Let me see. Hi, Merry Christmas! Ah, let the party begin! <laughs> yes! <laughs> I made it! Oh my gosh, let me go and give you guys a tour. If y'all want to come, come. Yeah, oh, it's dark. No. It's dark outside. Y'all killing the birthday today when y'all do it. And I heard it. And I heard it. And I heard it ends up in the bees. Your finna burn up. Like, oh my gosh. Let me turn it off. They will. I'm ready to go to sleep. Okay. So it's the end of the night. Let me focus. So it's the end of the night and I'm getting ready for bed and of course I have to take off my makeup the part I dread the most I already took off my lashes as you can see so let me take off my clothes I think I'm going to have to purchase it not the palette but what am I saying the um Foundation. I really liked it. It really held up really good. Bump, bump, cheeky bump, bump, bump. Mind you, this is the girl that just had surgery. Listen, I just took a pain. So, I was off of it, but then I wasn't feeling too well. So, I took an ibuprofen. Got off the Percocets, but I took an ibuprofen. So, like, I'm kind of feeling myself. Yep. But good night, you guys. See you in the morning. Bye. Good morning. Merry Christmas. They already opened gifts. Look, she has the LOL doll. Cheyenne has her laptop because she's a graphic designer. <laughs> and, and Cheyenne got BB sandals. Or is that for you, Nani? Is it for you? Ooh! I woke up late, y'all. It's not even that late. It's ten o'clock. Well, I guess that's late for Christmas. You could. Laura had the have the videos. Ah, uh, Sam, Sam saw. Mm -hmm. We can't do them videos. It's actually. What phone you gonna get now? Eleven. iPhone eight. Kids want iPhones. You know. My first phone was in ninth grade and I bought it myself. I couldn't even say the word phone to Haitians at that age. How old are you, Nala? Eight. I couldn't even answer the house phone unless it's for my mom and dad. Let it. Uh, well, I hope you guys are enjoying your Christmas. If y'all want to know what I got for Christmas, yeah, it's me. I got myself. I got life. That's what I got for Christmas. That's the only thing I got for Christmas. <laughs> so now we're about to have Christmas breakfast. 
Provided by my sister. We have, they have bacon. Y'all know that is a no no. I don't care, I don't eat meat. No, that's why they had salmon. Yeah, and eggs, and then they have muffins. But you know, you guys, I'm always on mimosa duty. Because I'm always in charge of the cornbread and the drink. You feel me? It is a Haitian crystal. Hey, you guys. So I'm still at my sister's house. Everybody's, everybody left, though. But, you know, we're about to go. But first, I have to raid her closet. So, which shoes should I take? I like those, but my feet too wide. But I like these on my feet too. These are kind of cute. I don't know. But or should? Okay, it's either that's like my first choice. I like. With the little. Wears out of them. Okay. I have a job, so. yeah. okay, I think I want these. I'm not sure. The print. And of course, they're from Fashion Nova. I like my. My sister has everything. Okay, everything in her room. Y'all, I'm sweating. And I think it's because, of course, just had the surgery. Yeah, I'm hot. Okay, you guys, so now I'm back home, finally. It was only an hour drive. But this is how I'm gonna spend my Christmas night, in bed. Yeah, I was in pain on that car ride. And, you know, I said I stopped taking the pain pills. But I've been in pain. So, just going to, you know, get this video up for you guys and call it a night. I don't know what else there is to do. So, when I get rich, I am going to make Christmas a whole experience. I promise that. Like, seriously. A whole experience at my house like I want a mansion a big enough not too big because I like to feel homey and I love when it feels a little crowded and um, I'm gonna have a whole experience yeah that's what I plan on doing making Christmas a big deal I love family I love gatherings so that's my thing Oh, excuse me. I pray that I don't break out. Like, my hair has soaked up this gel, honey. If you can see, look at my hair texture. My hair is so black. I love it. I like rinsed it. Good night, you guys. Merry, Merry Christmas. Love you guys. Bye. Wait, Um, I'm back again. <laughs> Um, I forgot to say because I don't know if this is going to be my last vlog for 2019. So I would love to say Happy New Year as well to everyone on my channel. Thank you for all the love and support. Thank you for just sticking with me and watching me grow. It's five years in. So I know I didn't make my goal, but that's on me. I, I wasn't posting enough videos, so I know that's on me. But 2020... I'm going to reach that over that thousand subscribers goal. And I pray that you receive everything that you've been hoping and praying for and more. I pray that God exceeds your expectations. Love you guys. Good night.